India and Pakistan, two neighbors with very different debt stories. As of 2025, India's general government debt, which includes both central and state governments, stands at about 82.6% of its GDP. The central government alone is responsible for around 56% of that. Most of India's debt is domestically financed, giving it more control over repayments and reducing exposure to currency fluctuations. On the other hand, Pakistan's debt-to-GDP ratio is slightly lower, ranging between 65 and 74 percent, depending on the source. But here's the catch. Over a third of Pakistan's public debt is external. That means it has to repay in foreign currencies, making it vulnerable to global market shocks and exchange rate pressures. While India's debt level is higher in raw percentage terms, its structure is considered more stable. Pakistan, meanwhile, faces greater risks due to its reliance on foreign borrowing and rising interest obligations. In short, India owes more on paper, but Pakistan owes more at risk.